What's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, Lockdown 23 and 1. That's right. We're going to be going in today to ADX. What is the title? ADX Florence Supermax Prison Exterior 2009. But it looks a little bit older than 2009 to me. <laughs> but look, this is going to look. First Blood Relic. What's up, bro? This is a live stream event. So run it back and check out the chat. Give the video time to process first, of course. But, uh, look, y'all. This is going to follow up into tomorrow's video. This is going to be the most secure prison in America. From what, you know, you know, everyone knows about, at least. Uh, very secure for the worst of the worst. People for espionage and all kinds of stuff are locked up here. Uh, and tomorrow I'm going to show you a low level prison. It's going to follow up, show you the major differences and why some people, you know, if you keep on getting in trouble, even in prison, it can land you in a place like this. Like out here in Virginia, they got red onion and you ain't got to be in there for espionage and all the other stuff. It's just, it's close to just as secure, but not really. You know, this one is extremely secure and the inmate to correctional officer ratio is not you know i think there's like 300 some inmates in this prison 340 some inmates to like maybe 600 correctional officers and you don't typically get that in your regular state prisons it's usually way over numbered inmates over correctional staff so of course it's going to be way more secured uh and then at the end of this video i might uh show a couple of the inmates that are actually housed in this place. It's pretty crazy, but don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell if you enjoy this type of content. You're new to the channel. Talk about all things lock up and crime related. Let's get into it. There ain't no commentary at all for the most part. You might hear some rumbling from whoever's recording, but uh, this is it, and We'll talk about it as we go, I guess. You know what I mean? Man, those cuffs are put in perfect positions. Kind of like the tools we've seen from San Quentin in uh, 84. These techniques are still used, though. For real. Nothing like a couple of lockdown chains and stuff. I see they ain't got none of the dial ones from high school lockers. <laughs> I used to be able to break into them things with a soda can. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. We're entering ADX, man. Come on, this is treacherous here. Treachery. Yeah, we're live. We're live. Doors are working well. So it's a pleasant thing to see. Albert, appreciate that. Well, they might be transporting someone. Maybe, maybe that's one of the uh, people that uh, handle religious service. Man, look at that corridor. God, looks like freaking red rum, red rum. That's why they pick black and white like that. That's kind of creepy, man. Look at that lighting. Jeez. There ain't no sunlight getting through that stuff, y'all. Ain't no sunlight getting in there. God. Thumbnail. You like the thumbnail? I know everybody loves thumbnails. <laughs> Bobby's, I don't know, he's probably out here doing something that could land him in here. Psst. 
visitation looks like a typical vi. Station. There's someone out here walking around, but we'll show you. They have some cameras. They Usually they have a little mouthpiece, so you can talk through the glass in case the phone's That's broke. But they don't have that in this prison. Yeah, this is where those head honchos are held, uh, Kingsley. Yeah, I mean, we've done the Red Onion series, uh, and that shit is ultra secure as well. They're on. You can see down there now. That's why uh, it doesn't have the light over the spectrum. Cassette player. See better? I mean, Did VHS you? player. We got our butts kicked, huh? I'll be there on this Wednesday. I hope it gets a little better. <laughs> you know how quiet it is? Ain't nobody making those sounds in that place. Sure. What we're looking at is a unit control center, and this is one of the things that really enhances the security and control over the inmates we have. Unit here. control center. The officer inside this control center can electronically open and close any of the cell doors or any of the recreation. Look at that puppy there. Imagine sitting on that. That's hemorrhoid central. I heard this is special reinforced concrete, right? So you would think that people would be breaking the concrete off, using this as something to swing around, but I guess they can't break that money. That's some special concrete. That's that concrete they make the floors out of and you get people get slammed on. It ain't the same concrete getting slammed on the street out here. No. That shit has no give. Nothing. <laughs> That's right, Nate. We made a 700K, bro. Look at the sink. Looks like a typical sink. <laughs> I've never, by the way, I've never been in a cell with a concrete bunk. Besides juvenile jail, TDH. They had a concrete slab that you would sleep on. That's it. I mean, they had some booking benches that, were, that I slept on that were concrete, but not in a cell like that as an adult. Popped plenty of those. Those are just sprinklers. When inmates get mad, they'll put sheets around that, pop it, and water and fire crew and everyone comes in. You get caught, you could get a felony and a hefty fine. Was that a light dimmer? Just talk about it so we're identified on tape. These are just the uh, cable and power connections from the television. Oh, cable and this power connections. This is the rest button that I talked about for medical emergencies. Emergency this is the button. It's light control. You have to turn the lights on and off. You can Ooh. also dim them. Light and switch. This is the cigarette lighter. Cigarette lighter. Button, and then the element inside this hole would heat up. You stick oh. your cigarette in there. Oh yeah, this is. This is old oh, man. This got out. Oh, they don't have this in ADX still, do they? No, sir. I have never seen anything like this before in my life. To the left is the button to turn on your light and dim it. To the right is the cigarette lighter. And that little hole is where you pop your ciggy in. Wow. They had to have updated that since then. Yeah, there ain't no smoking. There, were, there was smoking when I was in there. They took him out. Uh, shortly after. But I can honestly say I was still in prison at one point when the smoking was legal and they sold it on canteen. The good old days, they say. Nice little concrete bench to match the seat. There's no steel there. Well, I mean, might as well make a concrete toilet too. Why not, right? It is just silence over here. There's no one talking, no one screaming, nothing. I think that would get to me worse than not hearing, than, than hear screams. I'd rather hear screaming than just complete silence.
Can you imagine sitting in there all day, every day, 23 hours? Control center. Oh, look, this and, uh, is this is one thing these high levels got. The shower. Now, they got a shower in their cell. That's awesome. Doors, and I'll talk about use of restraints on these inmates. Man, y'all would go crazy in this cell. Y'all saying it looks mad comfy. Stop playing. I mean, it does look comfy compared to some places. But man, you go crazy. That silence, I tell you, I'm telling you. That silence drive you nuts. <laughs> Damn, they got U.S. printed on the blanket. Can't be burning that puppy. Dub said, I hate screaming, but I think I'd rather that than dead silence yeah bro yeah in the old tube set now their tube sets are clear so you can see through them i think that's probably about the only thing that's changed in this cell the cigarettes gone and no more tube sets pretty wild how they have a concrete shelf like that You got the same blanket in Navy boot camp? Stop playing, man. <laughs> hey, who remembers TVs like that, though? And using tinfoil to get the antenna right. To watch the X-Files. Damn, I do. I do. I'm old as shit. No, six to eight. Six to eight. There's no metal, but I mean, look at this. There's metal in the shower and on the toilet. It's been done before. <laughs> 19 inch flat screens. Yeah, they got some big flat screen. Uh, when I was in there, they had some, uh, I think it was like eight inch flat screens. It was like the TVs you put into cars. They're all career. Sean, appreciate that. A lot of people are intrigued by ADX, like there's some really serious diehard fans of this prison. They don't like that brand. Another brand that's common. some about it. They're intrigued by. Uh, it is kind of intriguing to me. Uh, oh, nice. See, now that's that pressure right there. That you know, uh, some some prisons you get some nice pressure. On them shower heads. Some prisons will just come out like a little tiny bootleg thing. You gotta do something to make the pressure more. That's a better shower than I got, said Rob. <laughs> That's four quart four quarter pressure. Yeah, a lot of high profile kids. <laughs> God. And, then they're gonna, and then close them all at the same time after they're done. You got it? You imagine hearing that? Those guys probably look forward to hearing that intercom every day. Well, I don't know. They're, I think they're just showing all kinds of parts of it. There's still quite a bit of footage. I'm only 10 minutes in. It's a 32-minute clip. So I'm sure it's going to jump around here. It's got to, right? Look, 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 look. Look at the double layer. They got... See, I've never been in a cell like this. This is extremely secure. You, you got this door right here. And then you got another door right there. So you kind of got a little cutway. The inmates probably mess around with right here. Who knows what they do with that little two feet of extra space in between doors. But that's going to stop fishing and all kinds. And look at the bottom of the doors. They have this rubber seal. So these inmates can't even get to it. They can't pass notes, kites, nothing. Unless maybe someone happens to slide it under this and they fish it from inside their cell. And that's how a lot of situations and words get passed, man. Believe it or not, in these maximum security prisons. But... 
Uh, yeah, you ain't doing no fishing in this prison. You are completely trapped. A lot of people, yeah, would freak out as soon as that door closes and they realize, you know, <laughs> they're in a little box and there ain't no leaving. First time I experienced that, I was 15, I believe. And it was pretty treacherous. Just knowing that I'm in a cell and I can't leave. 14 or 15, I can't remember. Yeah. They're just showing all the doors, how they open and close. And by the control, control unit. Little buttons. You see, this ain't too old, though, because of maybe they just put these kind of doors into place in this place. I don't know. And they're showing. Them. Man, that's treacherous. Yeah, that's still kind of new technology. Relatively new. There you go. There you go. Great. Thank you for finishing what I was trying to say. You live an hour from there, man? Jeez. All that money and them doors don't close softly and quietly. <laughs> uh, says uh, Jerome. They'd open my cell, my shower would be filled with wit cut outs of women. <laughs> come, on. come on now, man. You can't have that in here. I wonder if they let you have stuff like that. Because some prisons, they let you get Playboys and penthouses and stuff. Well, well, Playboys. I don't think they had Playboys. But definitely Playboys. Sneaker with a hundred clip. Appreciate you, bro. I've been consi consuming your content for a while now, and I'm always entertained by your solid work. I appreciate you, and I appreciate y'all, man. That's amazing, man. Thank you. It's in the middle. I've got that sort of one second or two second delay where I've got to let him go before the door. They keep cutting dude off while he's talking. Ooh, look at this. Somebody's throwing cigarette butts in the toilet. He's here and complaining. Listen carefully. Listen to him because I can't turn the audio up any higher. He goes, cigarette butts. Someone's throwing cigarette butts in the toilet. <laughs> oh, listen to him. Listen to him. <laughs> complaining his ass off. Under two but... second delay where I've got to let him go before the door. Cigarette butts. Somebody's throwing cigarette butts in the toilet. Cut him off. You want to cut him off? Turn the audio mic off. Keeps complaining. Oh man, look at this stinking uh, thing. No, we do not have any cameras out here. No, because there'll always be an officer out here, and uh, he probably will have with him at all times a. Uh... Cut him off again. I'm pretty sure he's gonna say it shotgun or something. He said you know, they don't have no cameras out there because there's always officers out there, and they're probably shackled. In this one, I'm, if I were to guess, they probably don't let them walk around by themselves at all. The ones where they do let them do that, the guards are out and there is a camera. And it's literally no basketball hoop or nothing. I think that is designed for the worst of the worst of this prison. I don't know. Maybe the worst of the worst gets a little bit of action in here too. Look at that beautiful sky. Man, you couldn't have picked a better day to look at look at the sky. Is that a UAP? <laughs> Unknown aerial phenomenon. <laughs> oh, oh, death! The truth is out there. Not in here. That's for sure. Not in this prison. Lucky cell number seven. 
Man. You can open A101, too. Ain't nobody tap dancing in this prison. You gotta keep in mind, there's only 300 some inmates in this place, so it's probably empty, a lot of it. I keep hearing rambles. <laughs> I'm nosy. Carolyn will be there Monday morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice little pan view. Look at that beautiful ADX on the ground there. Man, look at those. Kind of look like they kind of look like little UAPs. To be honest, you know, the roofs. <laughs> yeah, look at the mountains, man. If that core's lights blue. The mountains blue. It's cold as the Rockies. Yeah, it is quiet, man. You know. I mean, the, the mic is picking up their little ramblings. It's picking up the wind. This place is a damn dead zone. You can hear a frog fart in the wind out here. Desolate, treacherous. I got a video tomorrow of an escaped inmate breaking out a van, running down the street. Man, it is crazy. I feel like we need a little bit of spotlights. Is there an escapee? Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? Lucy, get away from the prison. <laughs> Come on, bro. We got enough of the landscape. He just spent 10 minutes on a cactus. What is this guy thinking? Cactus Jack over here. UAP. Yeah, cameraman trolling hard as hell. He's like, you got me out here in the damn desert. I'll record the desert for you. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see how old the cars are. Let me see how old they are. Is that my, is that a scat pack? Ain't too old, man. Look at that Jeep Wrangler right there. It looks like the uh, a, a new Rubicon. Yeah, I think it's from like '94. Be honest, it says 2009 in parentheses. No, it ain't. This ain't 2009, bro. Look at that mound back there. It's like a damn pyramid. thought I heard gunshots you used to hear that all the time in the mornings in prison and training shooting off them rifles Bobby making popcorn somewhere well 
There we go. In case they run out of water. We're having fun this morning, huh, y'all? I love gunshots. It's like a lullaby, says Bianca. Treacherous. It is kind of relaxing, but not every day. I don't want to hear that every day. Barbed wire sharp. Razor wire. Are we going to be inside the prison anymore? Doesn't look like it, man. So that's outside the prison. Let's let's just bypass this for a second. I mean, we could watch a little bit more. This guy keeps free control and like, what's going on here? This guy. <laughs> How many times, man, did you do this? <laughs> Don't you sue him again, bro. Oh, thank God. This has turned into a troll episode, man. This guy's got a situation with the razor wire. You ain't getting around that. Imagine trying to climb over that. You're going to need like 16 blankets, a couple of jackets. And even then, it's going through it. He's, the sun's going down, man. He's been on the barbed wire since sunset, since sun, sunrise. Nice. See, he should have just showed that clip. Just, and that's it. Barbed wire with some gunshots, and it moved it on. <laughs> Way too much barbed wire going on here. Not go there beats me. Wonder how they keep the weeds from growing in there because that's clean, man. I can't even keep my sidewalk weeds growing in. Yeah, can you imagine installing all that razor wire, or transporting it, pulling out there, and have all their gloves and stuff on? Probably had riot gear on installing that stuff. Them towers are scary looking, man. Seriously, look like a little. Like you might get abducted. Not another ultra zoom with the bar. Come on, bro. Coffee balls, two for three soups. Hey, I remember that. That was a good deal. Decent deal. Not two for three soups, though, but it's still a good deal. The ones I used to get. Nothing like a mirror to look out so they can't see in. some high-tech wire it's 
crazy. This is a prison to keep people in from ever leaving. Speaking of which, are they going to show anything else on the inside here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go over here. This is the left side of the barbed wire. Their, their good side of the barbed wire. Oh, come on, dude. Again. He's got issues. Bobby out there shooting at bottles in the desert. <laughs> Homeboy's like, get me out of here. No one told me about this when I signed up. Help me. Stop filming. <laughs> uh, Homeboy probably loves his job for real. That's the chillest shit I've ever seen in my life, man. That guy's mean mugging, though. Ain't he? Almost like a robot. Oh, boy, ain't waving these guards. Treacherous. Still mugging. Jeez. The Federal Bureau of CO's are built different. barbed wire again dude please Cody at the Sally port I made a joke in jail one time ain't nobody laugh I say hey what kind of cigarettes is Sally smoke <laughs> Sally ports <laughs> ain't nobody laughing at shit for about five minutes <laughs> I need you to come here and sign some things. I can't take this dude's barbed wire zooms no more, man. There ain't nothing else going on. Let's jump ship over here. What kind of inmates are in there? Let's just check it out really quick. <laughs> Let me fix this window. Open it up a little wider here so we can get a good read. These guys... There were some pretty harsh senses here. All right, so the first guy is serving 32 year sentence, scheduled for release on July 20th, 2032. I'll just zoom it all the way in and remove my video for a second. Move it over here. Former engineer for the U.S. Department of Defense and one of the principal designers of the B-2 stealth bomber convicted of 2011 of using classified information to assist the People's Republic of China in producing cruise missiles and stealth technology. And homeboy gets out in 2032. He should never get out. Jeez, that guy's treacherous. Oh, man, server 15. The next guy, Robert Hansen, serving 15 consecutive life sentences. Former senior FBI agent assigned to counterintelligence pleaded guilty in 20, 2002 to espionage for passing classified information to the Soviet Union and later to Russia over a 20-year period. Wow. This was regarded at the time as one of the worst intelligence disasters in U.S. history. 
Several undercover U.S. agents were executed based on his leaked information. Look, if y'all ever go to Washington, D.C., I strongly recommend you go into the Spy Museum. It will blow your mind what they think or how they think how many spies are actually roaming around in D.C. by itself. Treacherous, man. So, you know, America, there's been spies and, and espionage since the time of day, man. Uh, back down all the way, you know, back Egyptian days, <laughs> you know, uh, people giving up intel. So this is not uncommon. But, man, 15 life sentences, he must have given up some serious stuff and... Like you said, a lot of undercovers passed away. Matt with a hundred clip. It's raining in SoCal, so you're, you're keeping me entertained. Appreciate it, man. I used to think to myself in jail, I was happy when it was raining because everyone else is inside too. But let's move on to uh, this guy right here, Walter Myers, serving a life sentence. Former intelligent analyst for the U.S. Department, State Department. Pleaded guilty 2009 to conspiracy to commit espionage for providing classified U.S. national defense information to Cuba over a period of 30 years. His wife, Gwendolyn Myers, was sentenced to six clip. Let's go down to the organized crime figures. Here we go. James Marcello, the front boss of the Chicago outfit, convicted of racketeering conspiracy for participating in 18 murders and directing criminal activities, including extortion, illegal gambling, loan sharking, and bribery. So these are people that are housed inside of this facility. Uh, you got Chapo right there, of course. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. And some of these guys, they don't even have pictures. Uh, Luis Felipe says, leader of the New York chapter, the Latin Kings gang, convicted in 1996 of murder conspiracy and racketeering for running a criminal enterprise whose members engage in murder, assault, armed robbery, and drug trafficking. Felipe is known as King Blood, serving life plus 45 years. Uh, OG Mac, Serving 50-year sentence under legal name of Omar Porti, scheduled for release March 3rd, 2044. Founder of the United Blood Nation gang, convicted in 2002 of racketeering and murder conspiracy, as well as narcotics and weapons charges. Released. He'd be released in 2044. He still has hope. Ah, uh, man, 50 years, though. He's to be old, I'm guessing. Larry Hoover. Serving six life sentences. Leader of the Gangster Disciples in Chicago. Sentenced to life in the state prison in 1973 for murder, convicted in 1997 of drug conspiracy, extortion, money laundering, and running, uh, continuing a criminal enterprise for leading the gang from a state prison. Yeah, they got some bosses in here, man. Ah, uh, man. You know, so. Pretty treacherous prison. The worst of the worst in... In, in the government's eyes, you know, uh, I don't know. Some of those guys might have passed away. You know, that's just what I read off of the webs thing on uh, ADX. But you know, I thought y'all would enjoy. It. I enjoyed watching the first few minutes. So I did. I really had no idea that the dude was gonna show so much damn barbed wire. I thought they were gonna go into a little more detail in this place. But like I said, I didn't watch the whole thing. Either way, hit that like button if you did enjoy and uh, follow me on all my social media. I don't really get on any social media uh, besides Twitch. You want to follow me over there. Me and Brittany are usually on every night. Uh, but besides that, man, y'all take care. Enjoy. What is it today? Tuesday? I got to go hit the gym. Legs. I hate legs. And look, appreciate everyone out there. That viewed the video and especially everyone that donates those big donations, man, that's unbelievable. I thank y'all for real. And know that every last penny of cent that is given to me from y'all goes to a great place. That's for sure. My kids. <laughs> y'all take care. God bless and stay free.